This evening, let's explore judging and meditation. This is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to Meditate Like a Jedi. This is the Lama you are looking for. Hmm. Does seem a little bit off. This evening, we could chant and meditate and enjoy a lesson or two, but first, if you love Star Wars and you wish to meditate as profoundly as Ahsoka Tano on Lothal, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. If at any point this evening you have a question, there is no need to be shy. Simply type your question in great detail in the chat window on the right-hand side of the screen. Unless, of course, you'll be, you're watching a replay, then you'll want to type your question in the comment area below the video. Oh, goodness. Hmm. So I'm going to tap button five, and that should do the trick. It that should do the trick. T on Reddit asked, "How many of you have tried being non-judgmental?" T continues, "It is a very important aspect of mindfulness, and only recently have I realized how deep my tendency to judge can be. For example, I don't waste time around people that I don't find to be interesting." I get repulsed easily by certain people just from their mannerisms. I get shy and embarrassed to tell people about my life because it may, may not be as bright as their expectation. When it comes to meditation, I have a tendency to judge my performance after the session. My mind is judging all the time. Even this statement is a judgmental one because maybe it isn't as bad as I think it is. Things can get complicated if you go deep on this road, but one thing I realized is the world becomes a much more fun place to be without all the judgment, fun for me and for those around me. To which I responded approximately six days ago, what if there were two distinct dimensions to rendering judgment? What could they be? Metaphoric judgment can consist of lavishing hatred on whatever and whoever you do not approve of. Doing so can undermine the letting go love and kindness practices of the first, of the first through fifth folds of the Buddha's eightfold path. So no, I wouldn't recommend it. Literal judgment, on the other hand, is merely noticing what is beneficial and what is harmful. If one's so-called mastery of non-duality is so profound that one can honestly not distinguish between chocolate and doggy do, then no, you don't get to make my dessert. Did you know that noticing the flaws of, another's could, of another could inform our compassion? And that according to the Lojong literature, metaphoric judgment that fuels our hate or fear or lamentation could be compared to our teacher who drives us to contemplation, compassion, mindfulness, and meditation. We select our thoughts and emotions at our peril. Are we worldly wise enough to recognize how our controlling tendencies do more harm than good? Without repressing some thoughts or chasing, chasing others, can we, we can't take two. We can recognize whatever we perceive in the present moment and use it to fuel our practice on the Buddha's path. So that might be a little bit vague. So allow me to elucidate. The question is not, will you be judgmental? We are wired to be judgmental. 
And if we try to repress our judgmental thoughts, all we'll wind up doing is undermining our capacity to notice things. And without noticing, there can be no enlightenment. So let's not do that. Au contraire, give yourself permission to notice whatever it is you're feeling. And whatever it is you're experiencing, whether it's a perception, an emotion, a thought, a memory, if, uh, or a... Um, or an imagining, the response is the same. Notice as you breathe in, relax as you breathe out. In the Mahayana Buddhism, we speak of the five mental poisons and the five wisdoms. The five wisdoms are not an antidote to the five poisons. Au contraire, there's only one antidote, noticing and releasing. When it's applied to anything, be it hate, hating, or craving, or, or confusion, or uh, competitiveness, or clinging, whatever it is, they will transform into the five wisdoms. The mirror-like wisdom, the discerning wisdom, the wisdom of the basic space of all phenomena, the uh, all-accomplishing wisdom, and the equalizing wisdom. So, just as, <laughs> just as J.R.R. Tolkien wrote, one ring shall rule them all, likewise the Buddha taught that one antidote shall, or one set of antidotes, shall heal all. I hope that makes sense. Quick reminder, if you just tuned in and you have a question, don't be shy, merely type your question in the chat window. Let's let's spend less than a minute on housekeeping. Every 12 hours of broadcast a live meditation class without any ads other than this. With your help, this channel could support the next generation of nuns, monks, yogis, lamas, and even brick-and-mortar meditation centers, each repeat with a resident teacher and their apprentice. If this speaks to you and you'd like to help out, if this speaks to you, you can help out for as little as the cost of one cup of coffee a month. Simply use your, sm use your smartphone's camera to capture the QR code. Or if you're old school, uh, type, uh, click the Patreon link in the description area below the video. Well, it looks like... I need to fix something on the screen real quick. Hmm, did I tip at nine? Okay. We're going to open and close with wishing love, the second fold of the Eightfold Path. Please chant with me. May all minds be as wise as a Buddha's mind. May all speech be as loving as a Buddha's mantra. May all bodies be as healthy as a Buddha's bliss body of lore. May all circumstances be as fortunate as a Buddha's mythic paradise. And now let's... Uh, do a brief bit of chanting from the final meditation manual of Zapatul Rinpoche, a great Buddhist yogi who lived in the 1800s. Let's see, I'm going to tap button 14, that should do the trick.
In the non-graspable nature of mind, the simplicity of order, when as everything is freed. But the spontaneous creativity of awareness of purified in their own sphere. Mind and awareness of one in the single essence. In the non-meditation of Dharmakayas. Mastery of awareness and release resides as acceptable mantra. To recognize as non graspable as a mythic pure and comprised only of light. Whatever circumstances appear as a crucial point of the creation stage. Clinging to appearance as beautiful or ugly is liberated into its own non-graspable nature. Free of clinging mind as it appears as as non-graspable as the pure land compressed only of light of supreme chin raising. In the self-liberation of visual experiences recite the acceptable mantra. To recognize, to recognize sounds as non graspable as mantra is a crucial point of recitation practice. Clinging to sound as pleasant or unpleasant is liberated into its own nature. Free of grasping the spontaneous sound of dreading samsara and desiring nirvana is as non graspable as the voice of the six syllables. In the liberation of hearing recite the six syllable mantra. To recognize sense as non graspable as if they were unborn is a crucial point of the completion stage. Clinging to odor as fragrant or vowed as liberated into its own non graspable nature. Free of grasping all sense or as non graspable, as a fragrant non violent discipline of supreme chin raising. In the self liberation of smelling, recite the six edible mantra. To recognize flavors as non graspable as an imaginary feast is the crucial point of offering. Clinging to taste as delicious or disgusting is liberated into its own non graspable nature. Whoops. Once free of grasping food and drink or substances due to light the supreme chin raising. In the self-liberation of tasting, recite the six edible mantra. To recognize sensations as essential sameness is a crucial point of equal taste. Feelings of repletion and hunger, hot and cold, are liberated into their own ungraspable nature. Free of grasping all sensations and feelings, or as non graspable as the archetype's body comprised only of light. In the self liberation of sensation, recite the six edible mantra. The essential practice is rather simple. As we breathe in, we mentally recite the rhetorical question, how relax into the awareness of this? Whether this is a perception, an emotion, an intention, reasoning, recollection, or imagining. 
pleasurable or unpleasurable, interesting or boring, glorious or grotesque. During our exhalation, we relax as best we can while singing the six-syllable mantra. The arguably the most popular mantra in all of Tibet.
money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me. O money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me. O money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me. O money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me. O money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me, you go money, me, me. So we're going to switch tunes now. Um money be me hum 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 Om money pay me whom 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 O 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 money pay me whom Om 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 money pay me whom O 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 money pay me whom Om 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 money pay me whom O 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 money pay me 
hum, om mani padme hum, om mani padme hum, om mani padme hum. 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 Om Mani 
Om Mani Bhimi Hum Om Mani Bhimi 
हूँ ओम बंदे में मैं 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 हूँ I'm going to take a moment to slide a Zafu under my tachas. Let's use a, another tune. Oh, money, but me, whom, 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 oh, money, baby, whom. O money baby, who, 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 money baby, who. O money baby, who, 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 O money baby, who. O money baby, who, 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 O money baby, who. O money baby, who, 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 O money baby, who. O money baby, who, O money baby, who, O money baby, who, O money baby, who, O 
money made me who go 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 money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who Oh money made me who go money made me who go money made me who go money made me who And let's switch tunes again
ओम माने पे मैं हूँ 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 ओ 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 माने पे मैं हूँ ओम 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 माने पे मैं हूँ ओ 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 माने पे मैं हूँ 
Let us use the bookend chant.
Oh, money, me, me, you, oh, money, me, me, you, oh, money, me, me, you, oh, 
mani bhimme
Let's seal our practice with four concise chants. May all minds be as wise as Buddha's mind. May all speech be as loving as a Buddha's mantra. May all bodies be as healthy as a Buddha's bliss body of law. May all circumstances be as fortunate as a Buddha's mythic paradise. If you feel I have earned it, type something in the chat window, give this live stream a thumbs up, and share it on social media. In approximately ten and a half hours, we could explore elitism, education, and enlightenment. Until then, may you and yours be happy and healthy. And if you are as geeky as me, this is the way. <laughs>